Good morning, everyone. Greetings from Serpent Consulting Services Private Limited. Today we are back with third part of our video series based on our product Project Scrum Agile Portal. In previous video, we understood how we can create one project, multiple tasks under that project, and timesheet entry based on those projects and tasks. In today's video, we will look at how we can create sprint releases different sprints in a long cycle create and schedule scrum meetings and how we can use product backlog and sandbox so this is what our dashboard look like of our project now let's go back to sprint releases so in last video we created one project named demo abc so today we are going to start working on sprint releases so i am going to create one sprint release demo abc sprint release one sorry for the spelling demo sprint. okay so now what i am going to do i am going to create this sprint for one month so that will be from 26th may to 25th of June and I'm going to keep the delivery time of this print 30th June and I'm going to uh, put that particular goal as login and registration should be completely working and I'm going to save this particular sprint release now let's go to <clears throat> edit and create our different sprints so sprint one underscore release one of abc i'm going to start keep its starting date from today and i'm going to keep its ending date exactly a week after that okay so that will be the first print of one week and what we will be doing we will be just simply login design complete the project is already created release is already selected i'm going to select the product owner and scrum master <clears throat> if there are any user stories or sprint reviews in between they can also be added here so I am going to create this particular sprint release and I am going to create a save and new. Now let me create another sprint release or sprint that will be ABC sprint one, sorry, sprint two release one. So I am going to keep its starting date and ending date a week after our first release and in which we will be starting with registration design i am keeping product owner as the product owner and scrum master as its scrum master and it is general so i have created two sprints i am simply closing this we have added both the sprints and now i am simply saving this one so when we look at our sprints there will be two sprints created in that particular project so let's go at that look at this this is sprint one uh, release one and sprint two release one so to create one another sprint release i am going to create it from here so i am going to create another sprint that will be abc sprint three release one and I'm going to keep its date 9th to let's say 22nd. All login and registration issues to be solved. So I have created that particular sprint. As we are creating it from our sprint, uh, so we will have to select our 
sprint and sprint release and projects so let's select product owner let's select scrum master and now we will simply save this particular sprint okay so this was all about our sprints so we have created some basic three sprints here and about that sprints we have created basic rules now let me go back to my scrum meeting i am going to create one scrum meeting for abc project and that will be first scrum meeting okay so i need to add that project details and let's say i am going to create sprint 1 release 1 as our sprint what happened during meeting let's say uh, login design was finalized what was done since the last meeting login design was checked and shown to client what is planning until next meeting in next meeting registration design to be finalized and shown to client for more information there is something that is backlogging if there is any we can write and if there is nothing then we can write any when this particular meeting is going to take place let's say it took place today so we have kept it for a one day if we want we can also keep keep, keep it for a whole day but we are not going to keep it for the whole day now if there are tags like customer meeting or offsite meeting or open discussion or feedback meeting let's say that was a feedback meeting and it was on client location okay if we want we can describe the description and if there is any sandbox details that clients wants to add that we can add let's say our client was deco addict so deco addict addison also wants details for login to be number and email id both for sprint 1 okay we can add that then there was another one douglas fetcher wants password to be alpha numeric with compulsory one special character so we can write like that it is also to be given in after at the sprint one release so we have saved this one once we save this we need to just confirm that meeting once we confirm that meeting the meeting details will be sent to all that master scrum master and product owner so they will be able to join that particular meeting and they will be also notified that when that meeting happened and its detail will be sent to them also so this is what we are doing in meeting now let's go back to sandbox when we created that particular meeting one scrum meeting demo in that we created two sandbox details so directly we directly here we have now sandbox details that deco addict uh, douglas fletcher wants password to be alpha numeric with compulsory special character it is for sprint 1 project who is the author who has taken when that particular date was taken which meeting was taken so we can directly send this particular to backlog now what we need to do we need to just simply demo we need to just simply select that release and we will be transferring that particular to our backlog now let's do that for the another task that is this one i am doing that same for the both of us and that will be directly transferred to our product backlog when we see that particular product backlog here we will be able to look at what we need to do we here we will be able to see how many remaining hours are there 
how many uh, points are there everything details will be available here for which project it is there and which state it there is that particular backlog is here so this is how you will be able to work with your scrum and its backlogs now we also have some features of reporting based on our task analysis and project cost so let's go to task analysis when we open that particular task analysis report we will be able to understand all of the projects that are currently visible if we want we can remove some of the particular uh, products or projects from here okay we can view them in different number of charts that are available we will also be able to look at pivot view and chart view we also have some filters like if we want there is any assign assign task then we can filter that out like that is in research development task in that five number of tasks are unassigned and in after sales there are two tasks are unassigned if there is any task that is in new state okay so this task are all in new states in this particular projects so we can directly check that if we want we can directly check uh based on time ranges like if there is any deadline task there in last 7 days then we can directly apply there was no deadline task in last 7 days so we are not going to look at anything if there are any favorites we can directly sell it if we want we can uh, particularly group it by projects or whom it is assigned to in which stage that particular tasks are we can directly view through the company also so these are all different number of filters we can also check measures here that how many works are there how many planned hours are there how many remaining hours are there so we can view that from here in another there is a project cost and revenue report if we have created our particular sell order for any of the uh, project then that particular details will also be added here whether that project details are uh, amount is a uh, tax un amount untaxed amount is how much untaxed amount invoice is how much what is time sheet cost what is time sheet unit amount that was used we can all look at that here there are some basic uh, details that we will be able to look at okay so i am selecting all of the details and i am going to select by project so in this only after sell services is invoiced so that is what it are it is showing here in research and development phase there is a time cost of 800 so it is showing it here so this is how you will be able to work with your reports thank you everyone for watching our video if you have any doubts you can directly contact us through our website and if you want to purchase this product you can uh contact us through our website forms so to do that you can directly click on this contact us page you can directly create here okay and you will be able to directly send your details to us thank you for watching this video please sub subscribe to our youtube channel to get more information from our other, other products thank you once again and have a great day